G'day, I'm Hayden from Wagner. Today's project is an old louver door. We're going to give that another fresh coat of paint. A couple of tricks to the trade for you. One is I've packed up my stands just so the door's not sitting on there so the paint doesn't stick through this gap. Another little trick for you, of course, you want to scuff that old surface with a bit of 180 grit sandpaper just to give the new paint something to bite into. You might also have some hinges or catches that you don't want to cover in paint. You can use a little bit of Vaseline. Just wipe it on there. Now when the paint has dried, you can just wipe that off and it'll look just like brand new again. Always test spray. So what I'm looking for here is nice, fine, tiny little droplet. Today we're going to be using the Brilliant spray attachment. Uh, we're spraying with an oil-based enamel and this is going to give us a very fine atomization. It has a 1.8 millimeter needle. This is all part of the Wagner click and paint system. Okay, now to paint the door. It's really important that you don't try and do one coat. Okay, we're going to do two coats. We're going to do the first coat as a tack coat and the second coat is going to be full coverage. Okay, that's our first coat put on. Took us all of about a minute and a half. Now we just have to wait for that to tack off and we'll hit it with our second coat. Okay, it's been a few hours now. Paint's dry, we've flipped the door over. We're ready to spray the other side. Now the paint's been in the gun the whole time, there's no need to really clean it in between coats. All you may have to do is just scratch the front nozzle here, just to scratch off any dry paint. Job's all finished now. We've got our hinges cleaned up and back on with the new door handle. Our pantry door's ready to go back on. 